Coming up, Jonathan and cameraman Todd explore an epic cave in Portugal hidden behind a toilet paper factory. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. On our last trip cave diving in Portugal, Todd and I, who are both avid motorcyclists, decided that this area would be a beautiful place to ride. So this time we're off on another Portuguese cave diving adventure on two wheels. We're riding north from Lisbon to the Alcanena region, cave country. This arid part of Portugal is filled with olive and cork trees and the occasional vineyard. It's a gorgeous place to ride with almost no traffic. is in the rear with the gear, driving the support van. Eventually, we arrive at, of all places, a toilet paper factory. Behind the factory, a stream spills over a dam, which has created a pond. The pond gets its water from a spring deep within the hillside. How's my hair? <laughs> we meet up with Arlindo Sarau of Portugal Dive, who has arranged this unique opportunity and Anton Zukov, one of the top cave explorers in Europe. He will be our guide to this awesome adventure. Even though it's really hot outside, the water is only 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're all wearing dry suits. Woo! The water feels really good. I could happily float here for a while. But the cave beckons. Underwater, the pond almost looks like a movie set with crystal clear visibility and perfect aquatic plants. Almost too perfect.
follow Anton down to the tiny cave entrance. There, he demonstrates how to get through. Todd goes next. Then it's my turn. The cave opens up inside and we find a sign on the line asking people not to disturb the guidelines. Because the water flow is so powerful during the rainy season, the guidelines in this cave are made of stainless steel instead of normal cave line. Because there's always a chance of getting entangled in the line, divers need to be able to cut it. So Anton carries an unusual piece of cave diving gear wire cutters. For the first few minutes, the cave has a serpentine shape, going left and right, up and down, between 10 and 40 feet. It's hard on the ears, but it's really fun. After a while, Anton ties a reel to the line and starts heading up. We emerge into an air pocket. High above, there's another entrance to the cave in the side of the cliff. Then it's back down to start the deeper part of the dive. This is a good cave for rebreathers. Our open circuit scuba bubbles dislodge clouds of silt in some places when they hit the ceiling. Normally silt in a cave comes from poor kicking technique, but in this case, there's nothing we can do about the bubbles.
Almonda Cave has been explored for more than 17 kilometers, making it one of the longest caves in Europe. Its deepest known point lies 120 meters down, 400 feet deep. Poor Arlindo at the back of the group. Even though he's the only one on a rebreather, he has to deal with all of our silt. As we push our way deeper into the cave without rebreathers or even nitrox, we won't be staying very long or going very far. At 135 feet, we reach our thirds and Anton turns us around. As we retrace our path back to the entrance, we soon enter the silt clouds we created on the way in. During this time of the year, the water flow is not strong, so it takes many hours for the water to clear. We have no choice but to deal with very limited visibility in some places on the way out. On the plus side, stainless steel guideline is really easy to hang on to. Eventually, we can see the light of day, and we have a few minutes of decompression. Then, we head back up into the pond. Way in and can't see anything on the way out. <laughs> Some of the most amazing dives are found in the most unlikely places. Who would believe there's an incredible cave dive in a tiny pond behind a toilet paper factory in rural Portugal? And it turns out to be one of the longest caves in Europe. It's an epic adventure all by itself. But add a little motorcycle ride and you have something even more special. We really do have some awesome adventures in the blue world. Hey guys, if you want to learn more about diving in Portugal, check out PortugalDive.com. They're the Portugal diving experts.